coming up big, he's coming up big Johnson right now. So he's going to go up the same hill, turn right, and see Raul Gomez the same way. Wow. So, okay, let me get this right. We're going to have Carl Cheney sitting in physical second position when he passes uh, Raul Gomez. Yes. In a UTV. Yep. Oh, my word. I think my, own little, my tiny squirrel brain has been blown. Trying to pick up where he's still dropping down to full hate, I think. I've mis I misrepresented that. I apologize. He's, he's, he's there, but he's not, not right on him yet. So Carl Chaney currently in third position on course. But it's looking likely that is about to change. And change very soon. So JP Gomez is out there at the moment changing a tire while his brother is trying to desperately wrestle with his vehicle. And who's this behind Carl Chaney? Is that That's Randy Slauson. That is. That's now Randy we were Slauson. told he was out of the race. Well, it's either can't tell if it's Mike or an Amber or is it So we've got two cars coming down. They're just trying to identify them. So that's Carl Chaney in the bottom of our pitch in there. Just look at the ground clearance of these UTVs. Incredible. Well, we just got the map back up, Jim, with the with the tracking, so we're going to be able to get a little more accurate information quick here for you. Fantastic. Can we see if JP Gomez is on the move again yet? So if you're just joining us, this is the 2024 Progressive Insurance King of the Hammers presented by Nitto Tires and powered by Optima Batteries. This is also the Nitto Race of Kings, and it's been drama, drama. Kyle Cheney. Has he? Wow. I'm reading this correctly. Now, that's very interesting. Negative, negative, I apologize. Kyle's buried in here uh, in the tracker. Kyle's ahead of Lauren, then Lauren. Um, Did JP get ahead of Lauren? Or is JP? No, JTP's back in... in um, as presented by Nitto Tires and Power by Optima Batteries. We are here today in Johnson Valley, and what a day of racing it's been so far. Joining me in the booth is none other than Tom Ways and Dave Cole. Wow. That's Kyle Cheney coming down Thor's right now. He's moving. That's the drone shot that'll get us Raul. So in about well, the same thing, we just watched Casey do the same move. He'll be coming down, and we'll see if Raul is anywhere closer to getting back on his wheels. And while we were at commercial, we saw Casey Curry coming into pit two, taking some back tires. Changing rear tires, yeah. And uh, I bet they're going to take a really deliberate pit here and do a really thorough job Would before they send him back out on race course. Did you notice that while they had the jack under the car, they also had a man underneath the car playing with the rear? So there's something going on maybe potentially with the third member in the back of that car. As They'll I said, come home I without a rear third member. You're in pit two, 30 miles from the finish. Send it. Rear, a rear diff's not that important. I dry up home in reverse if you had to. And Raul is still fighting. Oh, no. <laughs> so Raul Gomez, he's trying to gather his thoughts there, trying to work out a plan. We're gonna but see. The, the cavalry is on the way. JP Gomez cannot be that far from Raul. JP can be. JP's way back in uh, um, Jackhammer right now. But he's moving now. He's got that tire changed. Um, it'll probably be 30 minutes until he's there to be able to help his brother back over, though. So just hearing from the, the headset here that we've got Raul's rollover, and we're going to play it in a second here. Here we go. He's going to be coming up Big Johnson. A right-hand side. Oh. Okay, he didn't quit there, though, because he's still pointing uphill. And now he's pointing downhill. Yeah. That, that looked like he actually managed to go from uh, forward gear to a reverse gear by the looks of it. 
to try and pull himself back out of it. Yeah, there it goes, the change to reverse. Trying to right himself. I know a lot of people that have practiced writing themselves with RC cars, so on, in real time, they, they know which way to spin the tires. And here we go, this is Cheney coming Chaney past. Coming by Raul. Raul giving the thumbs up. Yeah, look at that, Carl just picking that little car through, threading the needle. And now... Who would have thought Big Johnson would have been the trail? Wouldn't have called that, Dave. This is where you just lose concentration. You start thinking about other things, maybe starting to think about that finish. Well, when you're by yourself, if you, if you, if you get to that point where you're just going to force it a little bit, sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't pay off. Mm. Well, while we're watching this and watching Carl Cheney... We're watching Carl Chaney there making his way down. Fixing a drive line right now if that thing actually is able to move under its own power. Okay, so there's Kyle coming from right to left across the screen. He would go in, turn 90 left, and come down the pits. He has moved through the pits. He is on his way in. Yes, Kyle Chaney has avoided pit two and is on his way to outer limits right now. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, place. if you are just joining us right now, this is the 2024 Progressive Insurance King of the Hammers presented by Nitto Tires and powered by Optima Batteries. This is the 2024 Nitto Race of Kings, and that is our current race leader, Carl Chaney. <laughs> wow, gentlemen. Very interesting. Very interesting. Seriously, I could be more stunned if you tried right now. Amazing stuff. Carl Chaney, this man is an absolute animal. He has four times won the 4900 UTV King of the Hammers Championship. And right now, here in Hammertown, he is leading the 2024 Nitto Race of Kings at King of the Hammers. So correct me if I'm wrong here. It's not the same class, but he could be the first five-time king. Oh, no. No? You got to fight Mitch Guthrie by six times in a row. Ah. Yeah. Of course, that was all, you know, we were still doing leaded gas and the wheels were not quite fully round back then. It was a long time ago when Mitch Senior was racing. Long, long, long time ago. Oh, I thought you were going to say the wheels were still made of wood Love you, Mitch. <laughs> so here we go. This is Carl Chaney. Now, how far do you reckon he is from town here, Dave? 30 miles still? Yeah, so he's about, probably, ah. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. Okay. Case, you want to, the gym, I, I don't want to say it, but Casey Curry's out of the race at a remote pit, too. Wow. Okay. So. It feels like we're going back in time. It feels like we're going back to that race a few years ago where every time you get the lead, it's yours to lose. And we've had so many different leaders in this race already today. But we've got a race on our hands right now. And this, that race is Carl Chaney and Lauren Healy. Let's not forget about J.P. Gomez. He's still battling. Yeah, he's still in With the With all kinds of time in his pocket. 20-plus minutes of corrected time he in has, his favor. Yep. To go back one more time and say it doesn't matter where you start this race. You can come from the back. And as long as you can keep working, working your way through traffic. Back to Johnson Valley. We love this racing. Carl Chaney doesn't know at the moment, but he's a man with a target on his back. And the man firing at that target is Lauren Healy. It was four hours ago we were talking about Lauren Healy being out of the race in pit two. Yes. He had his helmet off. He had that look like he was done. And here he is right now fighting to be another three-time king. 10 seconds at, at the most behind Kyle and 
closing it very quickly. Yeah, and the best bit is Carl doesn't even know he's there. Uh, yeah, he does. he does. You reckon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he hears him now. <laughs> I can hear him you now, think yeah. You don't think he hears that big old Ford motor? <laughs> Come on now. I mean, he's, he's close enough now that I, about, I bet he can hear him definitely over his motor. What a race. You just don't never know the twists and turns it's going to take, do you? I mean, it was Raul Gomez's race to lose. And in one of the trials that he would consider to be one of the easiest trials on the track. Big Johnson, just a momentary lapse of concentration. And there it is. Lauren Healy is once again the leader here at the 2024 Nitto Racer Kings. He makes the pass on Carl Chaney. Dave breathes a sigh of relief as a UTV goes into second place. <laughs> He's Bets catching today, Lauren Healy bet. right now. Carl Chaney in the 191. Wow. This man just does not know when to say no. This man is an incredible racer. And right now he's sitting in second position at the 2024 Nitto Race of Kings. But ahead of him is a stationary Lauren Healy. <clears throat> so what do you think, Tom? Transmission, motor, something I, electrical? I don't even want to speculate. It hurts when you see your friends doing that. So on this lap, leading so far, we've had Raul Gomez, we've had Casey Curry, we've had Kyle Cheney, Lauren Healy. Oh, oh no! Broken oh, front no. left corner. Front left broken. Coming down resolution and back door with the front left not attached. Oh broken my shot. What did I say the other day, Dave? You're gonna have to drive down backwards. Oh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you are just joining us, this is the 2024 Progressive Insurance King of the Hammers presented by Nitto Tires and powered by Optima Batteries. I'm Jim Marsden, and joining me in the booth is none other than Mr. Tom Ways and Mr. Dave Cole. Guys, what is happening here? Well, we had Lauren Healy lose a motor about five miles from the finish, and now Kyle Cheney has, I think, just passed him, but now he's on three-legged three suspension and is struggling. Yeah, I was going to say, it only just made that left turn. He's digging, the, he's digging the, the front of the car into the ground on the sand alone. But there is no other choice. That looks like the entire that, front the end entire broken. front ends. I think he lost the whole shock and everything. Yeah, I think the whole front ends collapsed on there. That would suggest to me that's a bulkhead problem. I don't even know where to go with this one now. I don't have enough fingers, toes to do math or figure this out and say. I'm kind of beside there's, myself. There's here, nothing I'm not really you can sure do what to say right except now. for just wait. Yeah, he. So if he's plowing the bulkhead in sand, it is certainly. I mean, getting up the rocks to resolution is going to be hard. I think you could do it. I think you just wouldn't want to drive off back door because I don't think you could. Well, I mean, you no. could. He well, doesn't have to. He doesn't have to, he doesn't have to take back door. He can take the bypass. But if he's trying to get down resolution with the front end that low, he might be better off going backwards. I know you told me my bump my head the other day with that, but you got to do what you got to do. Hey, I'm not being funny. I've seen everything today. Go, a UTV going backwards down resolution to win King of the Hammers. <laughs> hey, why not? <laughs> No, I think you're right. I think he's possibly just lost that entire left-hand shock absorber, and that's putting so much pressure on the opposite side that he's driving it down on both sides. Do you know what this kind of reminds me of, Tom? And you're not going to like me for saying <laughs> this. 2015, you were coming in with that wheel missing and the sand coming through your car. <laughs> yeah, 27 miles on a flat tire is not something I recommend. <laughs> He should be coming up to Lauren soon. Yeah, he and there he is. There he is. So Lauren Healy is currently our leader at King of the Hammers, but that's about to change. 
that's about to change as Kyle Cheney limps. And that's the only word you can use, is limps past Lauren Healy. And that is the moment, ladies and gentlemen, that Kyle Cheney once again retakes the lead here at the 2024 Nitto Race of Kings. Wow. I, I have no words. <laughs> In production, can we get time splits back to JP Gomez at the last thing we can compare with Kyle Cheney? So Carl Cheney started in 10th position today. Actually, I might figure that. And JP was in 99th. What happened since then? Now, where did... Brett Harrell qualified in 20th position. So I'm just trying to work that back on adjusted time between here. You know what? Brett Harrell's got a really good chance here. Depends on what happens. It all depends on what happens to Kyle Cheney making his way down through resolution. Can he force this car down through resolution? If he can get to the bottom of there, I have no doubt he'll make it up the sand wash. In which case, it'll be a roll into town. But it's resolution. That's the one. And Brett Harrell's got a confirmed clean race going as well, which is another three and a half minutes in hand on Kyle. So he's got five and a half minutes on Kyle. So he's going to be coming on down through Spooners. How long does it take, Tom, for him to get through Spooners, do you reckon? Five, ten minutes? Yeah, I'd say at the most ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. it's longer to get. He's got to get back up Spooners. It's going to take ten minutes. He's about five minutes from there. He's 25 or 30 minutes behind Kyle right now. He'd have to cut some. If Kyle can keep moving, he's got this. Yeah. But he's got to be able to keep moving. I, this, even the rocks right up here. Just in yeah, now, if, that's good, if that gets caught up into the tire and flattens the tire, he's going to be in a world of pain. He's already in a world of pain. He's just going to be in a different kind of world. <laughs> once so the, once, right now, he's going uphill, and it's pulling the front end up every time he's on the gas. Once he goes down, there's nothing you can do to get that bulkhead off the dirt. You're just going to keep driving that into the rocks the whole way down. At some point, that, that's got to come to a stop. Okay, so this is Cheney into resolution right now. He's going to roll. He's barely. Yeah, he's, yeah, it looks like the whole bulkhead is collapsing there. So there's, no, there's nothing attached there now. He might have a brake line holding that thing together, and that's it. Now, Tom, your idea about going down backwards, that might be a thing very shortly. So here we go. We cut to it. We're just getting information from race ops. He has to beat, Carl Cheney has to beat Brett Harrell by six minutes. And you can see the coil spring there floating around on the front there. Shock absorber has left the town. And if you are just joining us, this oh. is the 2024 Progressive Insurance King of the Hammers presented by Nitto Tires and powered by Optima Batteries. Everything We've been racing since 8 o'clock right this morning. And right now you're watching our current race leader, Carl Cheney, limping his car back towards Hammertown. Every time that back passenger tire gets up in the air, it just makes me cringe. This is some of the best driving you will ever see. We say that this man's a wheel man, but he's taking this above and beyond right now. Oh, he's got a broken oh, front no, right no. axle too. Nope, it's turning. So here we are, Nito Race of Kings. And there's been so much drama out on track. Just in lap three, we've had so many different leaders. Raul Gomez rolling his car. Lauren Healy losing a transmission. Carl Cheney limping towards the finish. Wow. What a drive. 
What do you think? He's got 200 more yards before he goes left? About that, yep. And let's not forget also Casey Curry, who is leading this race. Oh. That's only, I, I don't know about you guys, but my palms are sweating right now just watching this. Amazing action. Go we'll picture and picture to Outer Limits and Spooners and see if we see Harold or JP moving back there. So this is Carl Cheney picking his way down through resolution. And in a moment, he will be getting down to the split. Almost certainly he'll take the left line, and there he does. He takes the left line right now, and he's coming up over the top. There is now nothing, nothing other than sand and whoops between Carl Cheney and a place in history. This is something else indeed, ladies and gentlemen. This is something you are witnessing history being made right now. That's Brett Harrell and then JP coming down uh, outer limits right now. That will put them some 25 minutes behind Carl Cheney at the moment. And Carl Cheney is just bringing it home nice and gentle. He'll be coming around the bottom of short bus shortly. I don't. So JP had a 20 minute time advantage over Brett Harrell. So in fact, just by JP being in visual contact with him means that JP is ahead of Brett Harrell. And with the speed that, I mean, the reality, this is a, this is a minute and a half at speed, but it's, this could be 10 minutes for Ch Kyle Cheney. Right yeah, now. absolutely. He, he could, could be getting back another seven, eight minutes. Those next four foot rollers right there and, and, and be part of the, become part of the race course. And look at the crowds out there watching as Kyle Cheney makes his way around past the bottom of back door. And he is limping into town. This is like going back a few years when cars barely survived to finish hammers. It's amazing stuff. And let's look back at this race so far. This morning, we had Cade Rod and Paul Wolf leading the line side by side. Paul Wolf took the, line, took the lead and heading off out into the desert. He lost the steering box. It was then overtaken by Lauren Healy, who had the lead all the way through lap one into about a quarter of the way through lap two, where he had a flat tire and then steering pump problems. Then we saw Port Raul Gomez dominating lap two and most of lap three until he rolled in Upper Johnson or Big Johnson. And then as soon as Rail Gomez passed the lead onto Casey Curry, Casey Curry then had problems in remote pit two and had to call the race. Lauren Healy then stepped up and was leading the race until nearly resolution when a wounded Carl Cheney came past him to take the lead. And this is Carl Cheney right now coming on in to Hammertown. Ladies and gentlemen, be standing. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Carl Cheney is your current race leader. This is the 2024 Progressive Insurance King of the Hammers presented by Nizzo Tire and powered by Optima Batteries. This is the race of kings, and right now it's four times king. Carl Cheney making his way towards the biggest trophy of his life. Can he do it? Can he win this year's King of the Hammers? He makes his way through the Bronco Arch. His car is wounded. He is literally doing only a two or three mile an hour. He's a few meters away from joining us onto the short course. Dave. Tom, what are your thoughts right now? Oh no, he's come to a stop. Oh, he's rolling again. What are your thoughts, gentlemen, before we pass it down to Miles in the pits? Couldn't get any closer, Dave. What do you think? Uh, unbelievable. I'm not, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Not even close. And So I can see the crowds in front of the booth. Now they're starting to gather around the stage. They're starting to get ready for this. He literally is four turns from the biggest trophy in his life. Now this is lap traffic coming in behind him. So here we go, we're gonna pass it down to the man with the mic himself, it's Mr. Miles Hasselquist. Miles, take it away. Thank you, Jim, and Kyle Cheney is gonna be our physical 
physical first leader coming or first physical first finisher coming through as he gets past because obviously the front of that car is completely damaged but kyle cheney may just set the internet on fire at right now physically finishing it on physically finishing it out front but remember adjusted time we have to check everything out usac's got to check it all out but wow kyle cheney wins uh, just a couple of days for the can-am hammers championship and it's possible he can win as he comes around the can-am quarter for the nitto race of kings kyle cheney one more jump to go but i promise you he's not going to get any hang time here he is limping along but Kyle Cheney is going to be our physical first finisher here and with that front end completely damaged. Kyle Cheney is in here. He's already crossed the checkered flags. Kyle Cheney is here in town and the crowd is going wild. This is absolutely insane. If somebody could do it, it is absolutely Kyle Cheney. But we'll see if he can make it up and over this berm so I can come have a chat with him. So we're going to get Kyle Cheney over this way. But remember, adjusted time. JP Gomez and Brett Harrell are still in the mix, pending penalties and adjusted time. But the left front tire, you could see him or hear the crowd every time he was coming down. Resolution, that right rear tire would kind of kick in the air and the crowd would, would just go crazy. Kyle Cheney may have just won the Nitto Race of Kings in that Can-Am. Wow, what a great race. Oh, and it's Terry. Yes, it's Terry Madden riding shotgun. I didn't know that. But look at this. Absolutely insane. Completely broken right front suspension. The shock is absolutely insane. What a wonderful. The GPS broke off and is sitting in Terry Madden's lap right now. What a crazy turn of events. So much action had what was going on out there but hey it is kyle cheney that's physically first in town absolutely amazing so kyle cheney's in town with this can am what a wild turn of events we're gonna pull him straight ahead and the front bulkhead is absolutely tore up wonderful day it's been here in Johnson Valley. Kyle Cheney's first one in town. How far back is J.P. Gomez? How far bet is back is Brett Harrell? But hey, the crowd give it up for Kyle Cheney first in town. What a one, crazy turn of events here. So I think I'm going to stick back and let Jim come on out and have a chat with Kyle Cheney. But wow, look at the crowd. Everybody is here in Hammertown. Absolutely crazy change of events here. Kyle Cheney, first in town, unofficially first in town. Remember, adjusted time. Remember, some penalties could be out there. So it looks like I got my man Jim Marsden up there. Jim, have a chat with Kyle Cheney. Thank you very much, Miles. Wow, wow, wow. Welcome to Hammertown, Kyle Cheney. How are we doing? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> the toughest race in the world, and you've just crossed the line in unofficial first place, although we have got other cars out there. What are you thinking right now? I'm just glad to be back here, to tell you the truth. Now, that's a very tough race course. Did you ever think it would be possible to be here right now in first? No, not today. This is probably the uh, worst car I've drove. It was really bad all day, and we just kind of kept it together. Um, I don't know if we blew our shocks in qualifying, but I didn't drive the car after qualifying, and it was like we drove on blown shocks all day, and they finally gave out at the end. But uh, Terry got me here to the end, and here we are. Fantastic stuff. Now we saw you doing some great drama out there. I mean, talk us through when you had to pass Jason Shearer and Cade Rod. 
<laughs> yeah, we uh, seen him there, and I'm like, shit, Terry's like, I think you can make it down through here. Let's go. And once we got through, we're like, well, maybe that'll hold some of the other guys off, you know, because we were just having to kind of cruise around, not blow through the shocks and break the car. So we just kind of drove like a, a good pace all day, and I really didn't figure it would be good enough to be here.